Hi, and welcome to another Ping Plotter Clock tutorial. My name is Tyson Worth. I'm the customer success engineer here at Pingman Tools, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Ping Plotter Cloud for end user support. One of the biggest challenges for help desk technicians today is troubleshooting a network that they don't manage. This becomes even more complex with the increase in work from home employees. How do you troubleshoot a network that you can't see? Ping Plotter Cloud makes this much easier by giving you someone on the inside. With a Ping Plotter Cloud agent seeing the network from the end user's perspective, troubleshooting becomes much easier. Here are some tips to help make this process as frictionless as possible. Most support calls or email threads end up being something like, hey, I'm having this problem. Well, when did it start? I don't know, maybe yesterday. What were you doing when the issue started? I was just working. This is where your cloud agent comes in handy. He'll be able to give you much more information than any end user can. We first need to create an agent. You can do this by using the agent template, which lets you use the same installer or link multiple times, or just by simply creating a new agent. I'm going to just create a new agent for Eliza, who called in the other day about phone calls being choppy. I'll also add preset targets to this, like Google DNS and our VoIP provider. Once this agent comes online, it will start tracing to Google and VoIP.ms. Now I'll deploy the agent to the machine. I'll make sure my endpoints are set up correctly in collecting data, and I'll also set up an alert to be notified when the problem happens again. There are a couple of different options when setting up alerts. Be sure to check out our tutorial on alerts to get more ideas on how to best use these for your use case. For our example, I'm going to set up an alert for when Moss drops below four, since I'm troubleshooting VoIP calls. I've got it configured to send an email to myself, so I'll know immediately when issues start happening. All that's left to do now is wait for the problem to happen again so that my agent can capture what's going on on the network. So I've gathered all my data now, but what does it mean? Red is bad, but what if there isn't any red? How do I know where the problems are or who to call? Well, you're in luck. With the latest release of Pingplotter Insights, you no longer have to spend the time learning how to interpret your Pingplotter data. Insights uses artificial intelligence to analyze your data and tell you exactly where you need to start troubleshooting. Let's take a look at this target. We can see there are some spikes in latency, but what does that actually mean? Click on this button to open the Insights panel. It will start by analyzing the last 24 hours of data, tell me what percentage of that 24 hours was my signal suitable for a specific service like VoIP, and then show me the top three events that likely contributed to any poor network conditions. In this case, it looks like I may be experiencing some issues with bandwidth saturation. If I click on the event, it gives me more details, and then I can pull up an article from Ping Plotter Knowledge Base to give me tips on how to troubleshoot bandwidth saturation. You've got the data, you know what it means, now it's time to report your findings to the end user. Calling or emailing them is effective, but only to a certain extent. Eliza is probably going to only half believe me when I tell her that the problem is in our local network and there isn't anything I can do to fix it. But if I can show her the data and I can point to a specific thing and say this is the problem, she's probably going to be more receptive. Using LiveShare, I can easily show her the data that I'm looking at. It's much more difficult to argue with a machine than it is with a person. I go to her summary and then I create the live share. When I now go to have a conversation with her, I can send this link and easily show her what I found. You are now well equipped to support your end users by deploying an agent to their machine, setting up alerts, running insights to interpret the data, and then sharing that data with them through live share. This isn't the only way to support end users, and I encourage you to work with your help desk to find out what parts of this process work and what parts don't. Your goal here should be to find the root cause of the problem and either get the problem resolved or help facilitate a conversation with the responsible party. I'm confident that with a cloud agent on your side and insights in your tool belt, you'll be able to resolve issues much faster and ultimately provide a better end user experience. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at pingman.com. Put it in the comments below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and as always, happy pinging.